Hi, I'm here to help you get ready for STAR. I am showing you simple tricks to put down on your reference sheet when you first get your test. Um, as I draw on mine, you can draw on yours for practice, and then the more you memorize, the better off you'll be. Let's go ahead and get started over here where you have your periods. Let's go ahead and circle. One has one circle, two will have two. We will also call these shells or orbitals. So your periods will tell you which amount of orbitals they have. So period one has one, period two will have three, period four will have four, et cetera, et cetera. So again, we'll call these shells. Um, in this first uh, column, family or group, which way we want to talk about it, is going to be your most reactive or highly reactive. If you've never Googled this, if you do, you can find out that they will put it with water. And it's very awesome to watch. Don't try it at home. It's, act, it's really dangerous. But you can uh, watch it on YouTube. And it's very cool to see. All right, we're also going to go here and circle the 1A, the 2A, skip a few to 3A, 4A, 5A, 6, 7, and 8. These we're going to go ahead and label as our valence electrons. Now valence electrons tells us the reactivity. So again, one valence electron, very reactive. Two valence electrons, not so much. We have three, four, five, and then eight, once again, not so much. So as we go closer to that eight full, we become least reactive. And then we also will look real quick while we're here at the noble gases column. Noble gases are noble, like kings and queens. They do not need to react with anything. So we call them full because they have eight valence electrons. They are the least reactive column within the group system. And right while we're talking about group system, let's go ahead and write groups. Now groups will be up and down and periods go side to side. And you can see that a little bit better there. As we talk about the atomic structure, we can draw a cute little atom with the nucleus where your protons go, your neutrons, which have zero charge, and then a quick orbital where we'll just put two valence electrons in because they are only one ring. And we are going to focus our attention on drawing here the ape man. Ape A equals P equals E. So this is for your atomic number equals to your protons, which is positive, which is equal to your electrons, which is negative. So if you know the atomic number, you know the proton number, you know the electron numbers. If you know any one of these, you can find the other two. And let's go ahead and draw the man. M minus A equals N. So this is your mass. This is your atomic number. This is your neutrons. Yeah, spelling is critical here, but <laughs> always making mistakes with the neutrons. All right, so neutrons. Um, one thing I want you to recognize is neutrons is no charge. It is absolutely zero charge, not neutral or not negative. A lot of a lot of times we'll say negative instead of neutral or no charge. So please, just because it um, starts with an N and so does negative, do not make that correlation, which too often we do. All right, going back into the middle, we're going to refresh our memory on how to uh, count atoms. So if we have three H2 
H2O molecules. Now H2O is water and you know this. If we want three molecules of water, that's what it looks like in the formula. So if we draw it, we're going to make little Mickey Mouse ears. And the little circles are going to represent our hydrogen. The big circles is going to represent our oxygen. So if we have hydrogen and oxygen, <clears throat> if we look at the pictures, we know that this has two hydrogen and one oxygen, two hydrogen and one oxygen, two hydrogen and one oxygen. So for every one oxygen, I have two hydrogen. So if I have two hydrogen per water molecule and I have three of those water molecules, I'll multiply. So two times three equals six. And if I have one per molecule, I will have one, again, times that coefficient of three, which will equal one times three is three. So I will have six hydrogen, three oxygen, with a total of nine atoms for that formula 3H2O. All right, let's continue to label our periodic table just as a quick memory. Um, we want to know which sides are metals versus non-metals. So this entire section here is your metals. You have your metalloids, which is your step stool or your staircase, as some will reference it. These will be your metalloids. And I'm going to write staircase just so that you can reference the staircase. And then anything to the right of that is going to be labeled your non-metals. So all of these are non-metals. All of these metals. And then you got your stair step, which is your metalloids. And just to double check to make sure I didn't forget to tell you anything else on here, but it looks like we are pretty much covered. You've got your shells, your valence electrons, metals, non-metals, and metalloids. You have your counting atoms, you have your atomic structure, groups and periods, and eight man, and that is going to do it for me. I wish you the very best on STAR and uh, let good things happen. If you can memorize this, you can put it on there right before this test, and every question that has to do with uh, chemistry, this should help you with your reference materials. Thank you very much.